I got my hair cut shorter a couple of days ago because I'm moving to a new town in a new state and I don't have a hairdresser lined up yet. So I wanted to give myself a little bit of time to find a hairdresser so I got my hair cut a little bit shorter. And you know what? When I first got it done, I wasn't sure about it. But now I'm thinking I'm kind of liking it better than my older hairstyle. So let me know what you think down below in the comments after we get done. Today I'm going to style this new hairstyle and you can see it's quite a bit shorter than what I have been wearing. This will be the first time that I'm styling this new hairstyle and I'm going to go ahead and do it with my Revlon One Step. I've kind of tested it and yes the brush is going to work for this. It's not too big for my shorter hair so this should be fun. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I'm really excited about seeing how this new hairstyle works with my blow dryer and if I can put it together and have it look good. Before we jump into the styling of my hair, I want to tell you what I have been using on my hair and I've actually been using this on my hair for quite a while. I use the High L hair care line and oh my gosh, I really love it. I use the shampoo and the conditioner. This is what you use in the shower. And if you end up picking this up, really use a small amount of the shampoo, much less than you would normally because this is so very concentrated. And the same with the conditioner you just need a little bit. This is a really clean line of hair care so there's not fillers in here. It's a very very concentrated formula. I also use the leave-in conditioner and this is the volumizing spray. And here's a tip with the leave-in conditioner. Sometimes when I want to style my hair but it's been a few days since I've washed it and I've had a little bit of product build up on it like hairspray and that sort of thing, I only wash my hair maybe every five or six days. It's not something I do quite often. What I'll do is what I did this morning and that's just rinse my hair out and apply some of the leave-in conditioner and then I go ahead and style my hair and it makes my hair look a lot fresher, a lot softer, and a lot shinier without having to go through the whole washing thing. So I use the High L for my first shampoo in the shower. For my second shampoo, this is a purple shampoo and I really like the Malibu Blondes. I get this right off of Amazon. So the High L and the Malibu Blondes purple shampoo have really been my hair care line for a number of months now. And I'll have to tell you, I had a new stylist do my hair for this haircut a couple of days ago. My hairdresser moved to Florida. <laughs> Along with everyone else. So she referred me to this new stylist who is fabulous. Dahlia in Reno. She's really wonderful. She's at the Sola Salons if you're interested. She commented on how nice my hair was and what great condition it was in. And I don't deserve great hair because the Lord knows it is so color treated. And she really said your hair's in great shape. So the Haya line has done a great job of keeping my very color treated hair very soft and very manageable. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and use the Revlon One Step to dry my hair today. Now this is the hair care tool that I've been using almost exclusively. I've actually not touched my flat iron in probably a couple of months and I won't be using a flat iron today because I've already packed it up. <laughs> This is what I have. Now I want to let you know that I talked about having to clean this before I went on my trip to South Carolina and oh my gosh what a pain in the patootie that was. I love this however cleaning it is really kind of a pain. So many of you messaged me that you have another version of this type of hair dryer. In other words one that has the barrel at the top that you can style your hair with and that you really really love them and several of the models were removable heads that make it easier to clean. Revlon has come up with the second version or the Revlon One Step 2 that the head does come off making it easier to clean. Also the head is smaller. It's a little bit more expensive. I'll have that listed down below as well as this one. In addition I will go back to the emails and the comments I got and try to list as many of the hair dryers that you guys say you really love and you think are worth it so that you'll have lots of choices to check out if you want to go ahead and look for this style of dryer. 
So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on high and I'm just going to dry my hair almost so that it feels dry to the touch but where there's going to still be moisture inside the hair shaft and I'm going to just use my head as a giant roller when I do that moving it back and forth in order to get a lot of body and a lot of shine in my hair. Now that I have most of the moisture out of my hair, but it's still just slightly damp, I'm going to turn the volume down to low and start doing the rolling and the detail work on the hairstyle. I like to use these little duck bill clips in order to section off my hair so I can just focus on the areas that I want to work in. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top of my hair up in that clip. Turn my dryer down to low and start rolling my hair under. And you can see how much shine and body I get from this one step. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Now I'm going to section off my hair again and just drop down another layer in order to keep working around my head. Now I'm going to drop down the very top of my hair and start rolling that under as well. Now that I have it all rolled under and it's nice and smooth and shiny, I like to leave it just for a couple of minutes in order for my hair to cool down. So I set that curl in my hair or that lift in my hair. So this is generally when I would brush my teeth. So I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. To finish styling my hair, I use a mirror that I can see the back of my head, a pick, a wide tooth comb, and my Kenra 25 hairspray. The first thing I'm going to do is take my pick and I'm going to pick up my hair right around the top at the roots and I'm going to back comb it just a little bit. So right at the base of the roots at the top of my head, I'm going to back comb it just a bit and you can see I'm just doing it very gently. Then I'm going to take my Kenra and I'm just going to hit it really gently at the base of the root underneath my hair. So I'm actually setting that volume into my hairstyle. Once that's dried for just maybe 
10 or 15 seconds. Then I'm going to go in with my wide tooth comb and just start styling my hair and laying it down so that it's smooth while keeping that volume in it. Then I'm going to use my mirror to turn around and be able to do the back. And then once I have everything in place and it's styled exactly how I want it, then I'm going to go back in with my Kinra and just give it a really light little shot. So easy and so quick, particularly when you have one of these brush roller hair dryers. They're just fabulous. So this is the finished look. You can see we have lots of volume in the back, lots of lift. All done for the day. You guys have to let me know if you prefer this haircut or the one I had before. I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Even though it's a little bit shorter, it just feels so much easier for some reason. I hope you enjoyed this little short hair styling tutorial and found it fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. You know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day and I'll See you in the next video. Bye now.